All right, so I have a beam central vacuum system. Model number SC375A. And I'm not sure, I think it's either the brushes or the unit, the motor itself had burned out. So if I switch it on, it, it runs for a second and then it powers off and the light goes off. And I have to reset the breaker. So I'm gonna open it up and see if I can figure out what's going on with it. Okay, so I had three screws on the side to take the cover off, which was this cover. And then this came off after it. And this is what the motor looks like. It just sits in here by gravity. There's a rubber gasket that goes inside here. And it's, this is wired with a ground and one live i think and another one here so i'm just going to unplug these and lift it out of course before you start remember to unmove unplug the power to the system so i'm going to take it out and then i'm going to take this plastic fitting off and then take these brushes off see if they're worn down and see if i could um just order the brushes instead of replacing the whole unit uh, it's also disconnected the pipe is disconnected from the exhaust so I need to get that straighted a little bit better. This needs to go back in that way. All right, so let me get this out and then I'll put it on my workbench and we'll have a look. All right, so all the wires have been disconnected. They're just these clips and this is how you lift it out. It's pretty simple. I have another wire that I didn't see. This is the cavity. I wish the vacuum was working. Well, I'll vacuum this out. I guess I'll take a damp cloth and just wipe it all out. All right, so to get the plastic housing off, you just pull on this side and you pull on this side and you lift. And you do the same for the opposite side. Well, you don't really want that to fall, but here we go. All right, now to get to the brushes, I'm going to remove these screws here and pull this out. All right, uh, by the way, let me see if I can see what the model number for this unit is. It's a LAM electric division of Amtec. It, this is a 11992-00 assembled in Mexico, which is nice. It's not from China, but I guess these things do wear out. And considering how dirty it is, I guess it could be all fouled up because of the dirt as well. So I guess when I look at the brushes, I'll determine if I need to replace the unit or just order brushes. So I'm going to take these off now. Okay, so this is what the brush looks like. There's a spring that holds, keeps the brushes out. And I'll show a picture. I believe these should be all the way out here, like another half an inch to an inch maybe. So this hook here is what keeps it in place. So it goes in like this, all the way in. And it latches on and then you secure it with these all right so I th think these are worn out uh, when I take these off it spins freely without any issue so that's what makes me think the brushes are bad so I'm gonna order the brushes I'll put a link for the website where I found it And I'm going to replace these and see if it works. Okay, so these were the old brushes. As you can see, they're pretty worn out. And these are the new ones that came today. I paid $10 for a pair and $6 shipping. So I'm going to reinstall these 
back over here. Put the screws on and connect it all up and see if it works. Okay, so I reinstalled it, but it still doesn't work. Let me show you what happens. Look like it has a short in the motor itself. And it goes off. So, looks like I'll be replacing the motor. But at least I tried with the brushes, which were cheap. And, um, you know, sometimes the recommendation is that the bus brushes be changed every year. I wasn't even aware of that. So I don't know if you're using the brushes all the way down is what caused it to fail. Or what if dust um, damaged it. So it's hard to say, but at least I tried. If this helped you, let me know. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know as well. Thanks. Bye.